she bumped your head. I'm really sorry to hear that. You okay? What are you anxious about? Well, based on what I can see, it doesn't look like you're bleeding, so I don't think you're going to need stitches. Which also means you're not going to need a tetanus shot. So, don't have to worry about those things. Is there something else making you anxious? Just that it might hurt. That's okay. That's normal. I'm going to do what I can, though, to make you not anxious, okay? What happened? Oh. But yeah, I used to play on the bars at recess, too, and there have been a couple times where I got underneath it and stood up underneath the bar and bonked my head. That is not good. Definitely hurts. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. Is it okay if I take a look? I promise I'll be very, very gentle. Okay. You're the boss here, so if anything hurts at all, you tell me, okay? Okay. So, I'm just gonna get a little closer to you, if that's okay. I'm just gonna take a little look here. Is that okay? Okay. If it stings at all or anything is painful, I want you to let me know right away. Okay. Barely, barely touching it. Right there. Yeah, you got a good size bump here. Nice egg on your head. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Oh, I'm gonna stand up. It doesn't look like the skin is broken. At all. swelling. Did the school nurse give you a nice pack? Okay, that's good. It melted, that's okay. They don't last forever. They have to be frozen after a bit. I can give you another one after this exam, okay? You need to do a few tests to make sure that this isn't a really serious injury, okay? No, no, I promise they're not going to be scary at all, right? In fact, I have an idea. I do have our bin of, to a blah, our bin of toys for kids, okay? I think we can use those to do the exam. I think I can make it so that way these work for what I need to find out. Is that okay? It's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> okay. However, I am gonna have to do an exam with my light, okay? It's not gonna be painful or scary at all. All I'm gonna do is just shine it in your eyes a little bit, okay? Okay. So I just want you to keep your eyes open for me, all right? You look up for me, okay? Up at the ceiling. Good. Good. Keep looking up. Okay. That part's done. You 
can look down. Okay, so now I need you to just keep your face, or your head, still. Okay? So don't turn your head because that's cheating. But I want you to just follow my light with your eyes. Not a big deal. Good. If it is also okay with you, I would like to take a quick peek inside your ears. Is that okay? Okay. I just want to make sure there's no signs of injury in your ear. I promise this is not going to be painful, okay? If it is at all, let me know and we'll stop. this little <clears throat> it's kind of like a q-tip but it has a fluffy ball on top it's cute right okay so i don't want you to look but i want you to tell me which hand you feel this on okay okay hold them out for me You can look. You're good. Alright. I just want to take a quick peek down your throat. Okay? Okay. It's open. Okay. Yep, say, ah. Uh -huh. okay? It's kind of loud out there, so I want to use this to whisper some words for you, okay? And I want you to tell me what you hear, all right? Okay. This is going to isolate the sound so only you can hear it, so it's kind of like a secret, right? Ready?
are a pro. Okay, so let me think of a couple more words here. Hospital. Good. Okay, last one. Now I need to test your awareness of your body and your face, okay? So I just have this little pipette and it's just gonna blow some air, right? No big deal. So I want you to close your eyes for me, okay? You're okay if you close your eyes. Nothing bad's gonna happen, I promise you, okay? I'm here looking out. So I want you to just tell me at what point on your face, whether it's your forehead, or your cheeks, or your chin, that you feel the puff of air, okay? And I want you to make sure that you specify if it's on the right, or on the left. Excellent. Okay, close your eyes. No peeking, okay? That's cheating. Right on your nose. Okay. So, Alright. This guy is going to help us do some shape and letter recognition. Okay. So, this little screen, I can draw shapes and letters on it. I want you to tell me what you see, okay? Okay. So I'm going to use the little tool. Okay. What do you see? Yep. Good job. <laughs> yeah, it is easy, isn't it? I know these are easy, but the thing is, is if you had a very serious brain injury, you might look at these and be like, what are they? Because your brain wouldn't be able to be sending the right messages across itself. Your brain is kind of like a call center, right? So, <clears throat> different parts of it send messages to different parts of your body, and sometimes if we bump our head can't do that. And so then it makes it really hard to actually identify what these shapes and symbols are. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. Good. 
Yes, you can still see the A. <laughs> it's not the perfect tool, but it does work as sort of a makeshift, <clears throat> makeshift whiteboard. Sorry, my allergies have been really bad. It's that time of year, and I have a dog, two dogs, that like to go outside and roll in the grass, and then they come back in, and my throat is scratchy, and I'm sneezing. All right, let's do one more. What do we got here? Good. Excellent. See, I told you these were going to be easy and there wasn't going to be anything to be scared of. I keep my promises. All right. First, I want you to tell me, what color is this? Mm -hmm. This one? Good. This one? Yep. And... I know, I know, these are easy tests. But like I said, if you had bonked your head in a way that caused some damage, it wouldn't be so easy. That's what I need to make sure of. Okay, so because these have different textures, I want you to close your eyes, okay? And I'm going to tickle your face with these. And I want you to tell me what it feels like, okay? Okay, close your eyes. No peeking. an interesting way to describe it. It is kind of like flicky. I get that. Right. To the other side. Yeah. Yep. Bumpy is a good description. It's like snakeskin, I think. is too easy for you, I think. Getting it all right. Oh, keep those eyes closed. Okay. Last one. Yep, bumpy is correct. Good. You can open your eyes. Sources department to help occupy kids and even adults that might have some anxiety. Sometimes even grown-ups need something to fiddle with. 
Yeah, like fidgets, exactly. Okay. So, I'm going to do one more test, and it's another weird one, okay? So, I'm going to have you close your eyes yet again. I know, there's a lot of these. I want you to tell me what kind of sound you hear. If you don't know what's creating the sound, I just want you to tell me what it sounds like. Okay? I know we just did something like this, but this one's a little bit harder. Okay. okay. So close your eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. So close your eyes. Yes. Keep them closed. water, correct? It's in a collapsible water bottle, so it makes an interesting sound. Very good. Thing will work. Okay. Yes, it is the air again. All right. <clears throat> Open up your eyes. You got them all correct. So, good news. The bump on your head doesn't seem to have done any kind of damage. It's just a pretty good bump. So, let's grab... an ice pack for you. Okay. Now I want you to hold this on your head for me, okay? You don't have to rest it on your head. Just hold it up against the spot, right? So here, I'm gonna let you do that for it, okay? Yeah, because I don't want to accidentally hurt you or anything like that. I know it's sensitive. So I'm gonna let you drive that car. Okay. So before I step out, I just need to take some notes. Okay.
Alright. So I want you to sit in here for a little bit. Ice your head. And a nurse will come back in in a little bit and take that ice pack from you by the time that it's not cold anymore. I'm going to step out and just give your parents some instructions. Alright? So you just sit tight. And then they'll be able to come in here and sit with you. Okay? Great. Alright. They will be in it. any kind of cognitive changes, like, um, you know, they start complaining about ringing in the ears, they're having a difficult time recognizing faces, start not being able to read properly or identify symbols, um, then I want you to bring them back in right away. Also, if you notice that their eyes are being dilated, or their pupils are unequal, so that means one is dilated and the other one isn't, then again, I want you to bring them back in right away, okay? Same if they complain of any dizziness or nausea, alright? That would be more of a sign of a concussion, but at this time, I don't see anything unremarkable. I don't see any signs of concussion. So, and generally, we would see some things right away as they have warning signs, but we don't. I did give them an ice pack to reduce the swelling, right? So I want them to keep icing it, preferably for 20 minutes at a time, and then let the skin rest for a bit, and then repeat, and that's going to help get that swelling down, right? Do you have any questions? Okay. Well, <coughs> they are waiting for you to come join them in the room. You can go right ahead on it. 